Okay guys, it's a very quick video. Have any of you tried to do the AMD Store MI software and it's not worked for you? It says your system's not compatible when it is. This is how you fix it. I'll show you now guys. I'll show you right now how you do it. It's a quick and easy fix. So first I'll show you me trying to install the software. So here we go guys. Shouldn't take long, I've got a fast system. Should only take a second. Checking the config. And you watch what it comes back and says to me. I've got an X570 board with a Ryzen 5 3600. Store MI is unable to support this motherboard SATA source. Anyway, that, that's the area you get, okay guys? Now watch how to fix it. This is all you have to do to fix it. I may have to reboot. If I do reboot, I'll come back and on the other side. Right, so close that. Close that. I want you to press your Windows key. Type in dev. D-E-V. See device manager. Click it. Come down to ID. This one here. ID ATA. Open it. You'll, you'll have AMD SATA. Now you, you might need to reboot here. You want to uninstall the device. And just uninstall it. And this one. You want to uninstall the device. You don't have to uninstall them actually to do this. You could also update the driver. If you want to do it that way, just come down, update driver, go browse my computer. Let me pick this one. Show compatible, standard, SATA, Anki. Go for that one. You might not even need to reboot. Oh, I think I will. So hang on. Let me just see if I can do the other one for you now. No, I can't. Basically, you want to get both them AMD SATAs by either uninstalling or changing the driver to standard SATA oh they both are we might not need to reboot I'll try doing it without a reboot if this doesn't work you'll need a reboot but I'll try without a reboot here we go back to the software but I might need a reboot like I said even the computer said I need a reboot so this is where we get the error There you go guys, we get the install button, it's installing, and you'll get these under storage controllers, I don't know if you noticed that, store MI, I'll get that back up for you, can you see here, store MI bottom device, so you get these here, so the short answer is to get these you must to, to install the software you must change those drivers that I showed you okay now I need a reboot you can't they're not on here anymore are they no what's happened now it's installed the software and dealt with it all but those drivers that I showed you before from back earlier in the video you must change them back that's you can either do it by updating drivers as I did or uninstall and it will reboot and install them for you that's how you do it guys the uh, IDE drivers SATA drivers I'll just show you now it's installed and just to show you everything what I'm gonna do it's asking me to reboot so we'll reboot and I'll come back on the other side okay guys so we're back after a reboot store MI is here let's just take a look at the device manager first so you can see those um, IDE SATA drivers are, are gone now you don't see them after that after that in storage controllers you get these 
story of my control is instead. Yep, they're not there, are they? No. Right. Story of my. Let's see if it works. Now, I can't do it because I don't have any spare discs. Um, you need a disc that's empty without partitions on. And I don't have any. But I'm just showing you, there you go, it's up and running. So there's your sources. You pick a hard drive or hard drives you want to speed up on this side, it's like that one. Now these are unavailable because, can you see, it must have no data or no partition. Anyway, so I can't use it right now, but I'm just showing you how to get it to work. Hope that helps you out guys and I'll catch you in the next one.